So we're playing with Coiling Rebirth, which reanimates Vein Reaper, but also a tiny Vein Reaper friend. And Vein Reaper is a really good creature to have a 1-1 one, one copy of made. We were lured with the promises of new cards. And new cards there are in my deck. Two copies. Vampires is also a buy for mono green until they summon Vein Reaper. Got to spread your pikemen out for your weaker leaders. Bro, I know. Thank you for teaching me the most basic of tactics of Heroes of Mind and Magic 3 that might be slightly intuitive, so people might not know them, but it's actually like the fourth mission in the campaign. I just want to get my artifact and claim it and win. My weaker leaders are just there as to pick up units and transfer them to towns over and over. So Krak can pick them up as I send him on a mission after a mission. I have not played Pikmin. I watched some trailers of Pikmin. I don't understand what the game is supposed to be about. No trailer of Pikmin that I have watched. Care to explain what is it? Like you just run around and you pick out the Pikmin and they do stuff, but what is the end goal of that? Bro, I just discarded my Vein Reaper. They don't know I'm playing the reanimation version of the deck. Okay, time to die to Sorin Vein Reaper, anyways. <coughs> Sorin? Reaper? No, Zajbisie, you're such a kurva. Graczem. Frajerze. Kurwa, to jest gówno ta gra, nie? Ja pierdolę, jak coś nie da grać w tego Medjola. He's a phenomenal control player. Something clever. No, drain, 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 no i chuj, no i teraz pierdolę się temu tabletem i tak przegram. Also, got mad and played in a way where I don't hold up push now. Doesn't matter. Good. Now I fab like I still need Pierdo Kozaku. No. Just as my opponent empties their hand, let's fucking go for it, sis. Bone Grasher Scient. Dobra, kogo się oszukuje tutaj. It's kind of unfair how when your opponent plays Sorry in Vain Reaper they win. What I do like is when you play Sorry in Vain Reaper and you win. But that's much more rare. I am a Bark Petrion and that kill. Let's see, and take off. I don't know what's the last card, so I'll register 61. Maybe it is Dark Betrayal. Or a BGC, but well, BGC is good against Fabua. Is Pikmin turn based? No, it's real time, right? Just run around with Pikmin and do stuff in real time. Sounds good. Actually, no, it still doesn't sound that good. We have Fotsis into Micro Vein Repair into Fable, so if I lose, I'll be sad, I guess, but. Real time, you're on a timer during day and you have a limited number of days in the older games. 
you're supposed to like rebuild a broken ship and travel back into the cosmos. Kurwa, ale łapsko, nie? Chłop nie obraża kipłęskie gówno, nie? Wiadomo, że się zmaterializuje niezwłocznie Swamp. Sorry, Blackly Cliffs na czubie, ale... Bro, boarded in the end, too. No jest, Blice the Pathway, nie? Ja pierdolę. Kurwa. No wkurwić nie chcę chyba. Takim kipem. I się udało. Co dużo mówić. Yeah, apparently kept saying of no colored mana, they just... <clears throat> they just did. To troll me and to insult me, and I feel both trolled and insulted. Dead. Mutamolt, no. Okay, no sorry, Nick. Jeszcze w Enripa się dobra w jakiś niemożliwy sposób? No gdzie ty kurwa? Przecież to nawet nie było... Silly. Insulting, bro. I mean, I drew my own sword in so like... Okay, this, 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 and this is gone, so I guess Pain Reaper showed up. I put my Pain Reaper into play, to which my opponent is gonna activate Mutavolt, kill my Pain Reaper, and I'll die. Which is a problem. No, what do I do now? Do I have to get out of the way? Maybe that. I mean, the end was just merely pretty bad, I think. <coughs> no, they be sure. Fine, fine, yeah. All right, one time, blot out, please. I feel like it would be, you know, pretty cool to give me blot out. No, I'm around, so I should have to say that I'm going to be... Won't end though, I know, I just made a poll and everyone wanted to see vampires with new cards. So the opponent attacks me with Mutavolt, no point in blocking. Opponent not blocking. Cliffs, Blood Crypt, super. Open blocks. Dobra, no, no, bez mudowania. Dobra, Recon Rebank Buster, fajna karta. It's possible that Vlan will not block. Holy shit, they didn't block. <coughs> We live. I would have died if they blocked. It's pretty bad not to block. And now we have two extra draw steps to get the removal spell. Which I will not draw anyway, so who am I kidding, right? Yeah, I drew a removal spell. I meant blood out specifically, but. Bros, Pioneer is a literally the worst format. Levunga again. Let's keep this hand never loses to Amalia. I did lose to Levunga twice lately. So lucky got tired. It's actually unlucky, it's a problem, right? So Getting paired up is only downside in terms of maximizing win rate. <coughs> yes, innkeeper it's rough. No to zawsze mam tylko pierdolonego innkeeperca, no i co mam zrobić? Nie zabić go? Co 
zabijać jak frajer najgorszy i coś jebany. Ardoas, that's why I added in terms of maximizing the win rate at the end of my sentence after thinking about that because I was sure that some folks are gonna feel the need to point out that perhaps there might be some other meta advantages but within like maximum like within the frame of trying to maximize the result in the prelim getting paired up is unlucky if you want to step out of the confines of the single prelim then yes <clears throat> Wild of Walker, that's a crazy card. Amalia Benavides Aguirre, that's even crazier. I think the odds of the playing a second Fable are slim. Harvester looks good for the inevitable Fable lock. Is as good. Well, I didn't quite come to the conclusion that I should kill Walker more often. I think I should kill Amalia still, but I came to the conclusion that <coughs> I die to random beats a bit too often. But I'm not gonna die to random beats this game, I say. Maybe I should have taken the specials now because we will land there, just buys back two of those, that's too bad, too good. I guess special is still like a bit problematic because it's both a source of life gain and an Amalia. Walker. New card. Seems useless. I mean. Just need to dodge Stromalia, Cord, or whatever. Untap and win, true for both players. Except, like, I have the cards in play and he needs to find one. <clears throat> Luck wide, no, nie, no, spierdala, is revunga, nie. Kurva mać, no. Jak do pizy są te prelimy w jebanym pionierze. Siejesz kurwa zabijasz te stwory cały dzień. Nigdy się nie kończy zabijanie tych stworów, a potem w pizie te mają wszyscy, że zabiłeś stwora. Wyjebane mają w ciebie. The amount of cyborg cards for Amalia is slowly creeping in my deck and growing, um, growing on and on. And I guess I'm still losing, so. Ashok is good. Yeah, yeah, Ashok also. 61, so I even have too many. Like, Harvester is only good for the Fable thing. I think Harvester plus Fable is a combo versus Amalia. That's true. Let's go down to 2 Reaper 2, sorry. In Harvester. It's a cheap card. Like, I don't need too many Harvesters in my deck to assemble that combo and 
you know, I was trying to play to water start this game, but I was a bit too slow. Now the wops go. Let's take nine, 10 damage from my own cards, three damage from Amalia Ward, and then die to Prosperous Innkeeper beating me down. Let's go. Yeah, my DN is gonna go still live this game, and that's just how it's gonna be. Oh, fatal push, no nezle. I think you're gonna take Walker for care of disrupting. Can discard card later. If villain skips turn two, my sorting is gonna be actually decent. I might want to fortsize away the push later if I draw the knight, but currently it's not necessary. Dobra, fable będzie zajebiste. Let's me discard the fable. Do I want to fortsize actually? Well, no, I know I'm not sure. Can this show the care still? I guess, yeah, let's take the card, whatever. Discard the sorin. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah. It's just scored now. Maybe it's push just push now, but no. Like this hand needs so much to win. I think it never wins. Amalia Benavide Zaguira. Plus one my friend. What you're saying is very true. Unfortunately, we discarded, we bought out the new card, so it's not gonna shine this matchup, but it's better in the mirror, anyways, or similar. Okay, I'll discard the lands. He looked stinky. <clears throat> Harvester is nice. I wonder if there was a better way to sequence removal last game. I shouldn't have sorcery speed cast any removal maybe, I think. Then my opponent wouldn't be able to cast the 3-2. I could have just attacked with Fable Monster, he wouldn't, like, he would block with the walker or whatever. So, I think I actually agree. So, when I said that you can <clears throat> do anything, I actually meant that you can, but I didn't. But arguably, you could also fortsize away the 3 2 and not dirge. The end in the mirror, and I don't like it. Not sure if it's worthwhile in general. I want to end Amalia and actually not much more than that. I can end Quintorius too, I guess that's not the worst. But for mana, huge commitment to keep that up. <coughs> no that way. Levunga. Are you afraid of commitment? No. Would you end the Quintarius or the Spark Double? I would think about it at the very moment that I am holding the end and my opponent has Quintarius on the stack. But maybe a good question. Are we canooming? Wow, why were Walker returned? Probably Quintarius, like because that means that they have Quintarius in play, right? So just when they cast a clone, you. Or before eBay, like when they discover for you, hit or oh, curva reservoir. Now Lavunga is playing Amalia as if I was playing Amalia. I recognize that now. Oh, 
What does the Quintory specialist think? Good question. Más kurva szramália. No, we're after the Lenin's cup here. That's simply. What do you think, Olsen? Which one? I guess, again, if with the end you most likely want to hit Quintorius and like, that's assuming you are gonna do something strong next turn. If, like, if you don't have a follow-up or don't have close to lethal, then I guess you might hit the non-Quintorius. <clears throat> Don't you want the opponent to pay five mana to make free two tokens? Not really. Seems like a strong play. Kurwa, no tapuj się, no frajerze. No, pożywia się. Could you be love? <laughs> All right, Lebunga. Stop pretending you can defeat me. Any cyborg cards that look good in the matchup? Kind of wonder if like I could board out Vayne Reaper Sorin entirely. Cause from Amalia's side it's still terrifying to face that a portion of the time, but I think the fell rate is just kind of bad, but Good board. Well, two of those, and then it will be Duras or Leila. Nah. Like Sorin in some spots. It's good to make sure that you have some lifelink available and you don't die to shitty beatdowns, which happened to me more often than I would have liked to admit. Alright. Potsies into Bankbuster, which is basically blank into die. Let's go. I'll let Wops go. Let's take the company. Special doesn't do anything yet. This once again looks like Amalia when I play Amalia. Or does them? Nawet nie wiadomo czy minerał tam jest. All right, this game seems impossible to lose. Impossible to lose has been called, but of course I can just get destroyed next turn. Nah. I will not need free fables. Glistening deluge. Turu turu turu. We died. I lost. Amalia isn't play. Wait, the villain still has mana confluence in hand. I think we actually haven't hadn't lost. Here we go, removal spell, let's go. Duro. Dark betrayal, okay. I'll ditch the Bankbuster and the Cliffs through Bankbuster, but more removal. So 
So now I hold three removal spells, so we good. Maybe villain will go like savior block to use the specialist. That doesn't seem to matter. They don't. Well, he doesn't. He not scout. It explores <coughs> a blooming marsh. Anyone blooming their marsh? Blooming, 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 blooming my marsh. Also, chat, do you think we are going to cast the new card before this problem ends? Once. So far, coiling, rebe coiling rebirth is at zero casts. Is it going to reach one or more casts before the problem ends? What do you think, bros? I think it's gonna stay at zero. One cast. Seems bad card. Damn. New card, two games, zero percent relevant, two O is all that matters. No, I lost my first round actually. Turu, 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 turu. Could I have co played Vain Reaper and copied it to win? Maybe. Time's time for a big move. A return to the ranks. Holy guacamole, solid. Our ranks have been returned. Andrzeju, jak ci na imię? Dobre pytanie. Five mana do drop cure. <gasps> the end against Amalia. Are we gonna do the thing? No, I'll summon Vayne Reaper and copy it twice. Yes. Broke my anti-Levunga streak where I lost to Levunga and Amaya like three times in a row. The last times we played. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But if you hit the double, then they are left with... Literally nothing. No, that's not true. Oh, prankster, prankster. Twice. Come on. We got Giga Pranked. Let's not summon a creature. That would let my opponent axe down the Phoenix. Hits Consider. Yeah, it's not too bad. Problem with axe plus pick lock is that it's an answer to repair. But if we can, the plan would be to just chill with. With Punk Buster. I think I can play the top line without much value being lost. Punished. Ahem. <coughs> Cast Consider, Scared Phoenix, Storm Chaser, Stalent, new card. Seems not too bad. They one drop and then it also has some late game applications like if you can get to level 3 that's pretty real and level 
Two is four mana buy back a spell. It's not bad. It's not a spell though. So it's just come goes into a creature slot. But like if they flip it next turn, then I guess can't drip into waters. It's literally monastery mentor, bros. No, I can't do that thing as a man, yeah. I think it's too bad. I mean, Fox is if iffy. In some ways. Well, like, like Fox is okay. Like, it's pretty good, but it's not good in a way where I would want to play more. Axe, discard under Phoenix. I, yeah, yeah, the damage is piling on. Cruzeroni. Games like this make you wonder why not play Phoenix, the best deck ever. But next game, next two games, I'm going to open with a Leyline and summon Vayne Reaper immediately. Read the Fane, and I should have Phoenix, you know. Czemu nie? Okay, Phoenix. What do you mean, Ooh. Torture Tower can also suck the other for bargain. Well, it's not great. You can also suck the talent for bargain. Actually, that's pretty real. Assuredly, there are games where it's not good. Yeah, Pierre Dora, I'm sure to the last one that beat It's a piece of you. No to teraz co? Blotałcik zajebiście. Ok, so what do I draw? Sorin into Vayne Repair only? No prawie się udało. Nie wiem, nie wiem. Thought season concede. Arclight Phoenix is the best deck ever. It's unbeatable. At least until I show them my ley lines. Let's keep coiling rebirth in the matchup for science. I don't like Bitter Triumph, I don't like Ashok. I guess I don't like Shoulder at all that much, but... It's good. Like if you reanimate Vayne Reaper with a little Vayne Reaper friends, how is your Phoenix opponent supposed to proceed? They'll literally get drained for... 8. 12 at least. Oh, I'm pure dollar. So I have ley lines in my deck. Which is the reason to mulk on this hand. <clears throat> I believe in the buster. Busting makes me feel good. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just OP. Phoenix getting to play a one drop like that? How am I supposed to <coughs> not just die? Hi, Kanike, I love you. You too? Bro. Big clock. More like pick cock. Bro, so actually I never said that joke before. Holy shit. Cruising? Maybe considering. I'll take a cruising. Seems a bit rough. <laughs> hmm. 
What day of the week is it today? It's Vtorek, right? Tuesday. Hacking Tuesday, bros. He's the sickest day of the week. Control player. No kuva jebane bloke ni aslug w revolusi needs yala. Land. No dobra. Ja pierdziela. Hey the cruise. Prismari my come on the way. It's fine. I say. It's actually okay. Although the storm chase chases talent into buyback. Into the flood mode, new card. Literally bounce spell. Curiously read the fay over commanding. Which I guess if my opponent returns the Phoenix, then I'll just take so much damage that I die. Got a gift to the fish too. Any fish in the chat? Share them the magic. Yeah, Pierre Jella. Do do do. Do 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 do. No, nie, no, rozybany jestem. All right, I'm cooling down on so many bankbusters. They are fine in the middle, but it also doesn't matter because your opponent gets lucky with Vayne Reaper and you lose anyway, so... You literally can't ever win anything. I mean, I guess, judging from our first round, I should keep this hand. And honestly, it probably gives me a decent chance against... Nev, if he's on Nev. Who is Nasifiash? That's like it's a slightly derogatory way to refer to Cab. In Polish. Sif is like mess, but it's kinda of booga, a little bit. So it's just Nasif. But like not quite so actually nice way. <laughs> it says his name is Nasty. You get it. has been vanquished. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated. Victory is yours. Wow, what a quick map. Bros, by the way, I summoned Harvester on turn 2 after keeping a Mutavolt only hand, one lander. Maybe I should start offering coaching. Calling Rebirth might actually <laughs> be okay this much, but I guess Reaper is nice to be exiled. If it dies. You know, there's stuff like Sunfall, BTL for Sunfall would be not nice, but... I don't think I'm supposed to play a Fable, right? It only gets worse. Keep one lander into turn 3 Reaper? Yeah. I mean, that's why I kept the one lander, is because it had a turn 3 Reaper. If I was on the draw. And drew two lands in a row, which I did. And I think the Niv-Mizzet matchup is pretty bad, and my hand is... 
Like, if I go lucky, my hand could actually be there to that. If I move to 6 and draw, like, a shit hand... I think I need to get more lucky to get a 6 that beats Nev rather than... Compared to how lucky I needed to get here, I think. So, I kinda... I actually kept unironically. If you catch my drift, chat. <coughs> I pick up Yorion. Vanishing Verse. Dobra, exile, really sad. Hope we're picking up Yorion, bro. Where's Yorion on the map, no? Nie zagrywa nic. No nie, no weź tego Yoriona, no. Co tak za mularz? Kola nas komando, holy fuck. Dobra. <laughs> I see. Interesting to pick up the carry at it. This matchup always feels awful. <coughs> it's because it is awful. And but yeah, I agree. There's no kurwa Srena in Srinding. My fatal token, so that Yorion can blink it. Devastating. Thankfully, can't cast Niv this turn. Bro, I would love if my opponent cast Niv. Please don't lose the dog. The one to bracket, what a battle, bros. Your favorite streamer. So. Getting same scores as you. I think I might blood token away the coiling rebirth soon, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably not. Yorion. No, Cornucopia, bro, this is impossible to beat. It's just gained so much life. Make Karyatid Kairen Haper, the Staya, no, Zabisya. How does one beat that? Okay, I guess I will. Blood away the second one. Sorry, in Huyavo. I mean, with your seven. Let me discard the Sorry number two. Just got destroyed by calling Rebirth, Pog. How was it? <coughs> and how did that actually happen? Seems pretty rough for that card to work against Quintorius. Well, maybe it was a bitter reunion list. I guess then you make your deck... Consecrate, consume. So you just kill the Reaper and it came back. Leyline Binding. No, no, spierdala, ziomku. You can just kill my stuff. Anyone that had ever consecrated or consumed anyone else? So the curva is a gówno. Casualties of war, yeah, Pierre Dole. Too bad it's not Reaper, but <coughs> I think I want to do that. To threaten attack and slack. No bra. Cornucopia. Play Omnov. Gain 8 life. Maybe even 12 with a fetch. Well, not quite 12, but practically 12. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do I want the end? Not really. One X Night of Dusk. No. I disagree. Ashok. No. I disagree. Oh, I, Ashok for BTL is... There's like a free mana counter spell, but then your opponent doesn't even have to cast their card. And only affects their BTL. It's just a bad strat. It's even like it's a classic bad strat. Fabled Passage. I know about Fabled Passage being hit by Ashok 2. I think it rounds to zero as irrelevant. I even have Urborg in my deck for reverse counter synergy against Fabled Passage and like hitting Fabled Passage that's just I mean bros. Calling Rebirth is gonna shine this game, I bet. I'll keep this. Duras, Duras. <laughs> Into two fables, sounds like a plan. Also, Rebirth is new, we have to play with it, bros. You can't just skip the test. Consume. <laughs> so I can't just say, oh, no, no, calling Rebirth looks no good. This song is in Korean, Milchek. Whatever you hear is probably not what I say. Because it's actually in a different language. That does sound like that, for sure. Keep one lander twice. Draw a perfect lens. Congrats, Olsen. Wow. I mean, Consecrate Consume beats Calling Rebirth pretty hard. In fact. So it solves Vayne Reaper both ways. Okay, I'll discard Cleaves. <coughs> and probably Rebirth. If I draw Vayne Reaper, I want to play it. Vein ripped. I play Omnath, no is I Bishimash. Consume. Dobra. Well, I guess maybe it wasn't actually perfect to place or in here. Ah, that's pretty good. There's no pressure in. To do that, not cast Omnath? I don't know. I guess he has Omnath Fable Passage. No, he spent Veil Passage. If we draw Calling Rebirth, it's gonna be good. I already drew one and discarded it, of course, but... If I find a second one, we do get double reaper. Nice, so we get to solve Omnath with Reflection. Discard Sorin.
All right, feels actually winnable. Causalities of war, bro. This single handedly turns the tides of the game a tiny bit in his favor. What a fucking card. Artifact creature enchantment land plains. Okay, he got the full 5 for 1 and he hit my man land too. Yeah, Pierre Dealer. That's crazy. <laughs> so if he has a sweeper, now I'm gonna lose. There is one word I can say, it is absolutely devastating to suffer from a casualties of war like that. Cornucopia, no, I'm never gonna kill him. Not the Cornucopia again. Wandering Mind, gain two. Cornucopia is so good. How many do they play? Four? It's literally unbeatable. At least it wasn't BTL for my creatures, but on BTL. Like the fact that you can gain five life. Every single spell, and then you can gain more life during your opponent's turn. No, yeah, he's good. No, he's agreeable. Kurda. Vital push. It's gonna be LT or Sunfall. Nif Mizat. Oh, that's better for me, honestly, but. <laughs> it might be worth to dig for a discard spell here. Very well, might be. Puts Vanishing Veris, Tolsimir, Friend to Wolves. Bros, for a broken deck, the Vampire deck is so shit. Or rather, it's so mid range. I keep dying to just normal stuff. No, a broken deck. No, it's like Beast as Samalia, no, Brother. The Vibit nice Samalia. Dobra, ma to jakiś spell, tak mnie wyjebie. Nie chcę mi się grać. Thank you for watching the stream. I'll never play Pioneer on stream ever again for the next few weeks. I It actually <coughs> goes terribly for me every time and it feels like shit. There's no point playing that, it's just not cool.